Hey everybody, my name is Greg Barbosa. I'm a hobby photographer and videographer. And for the past few years, I've been an iPhone only photo and video shooter. Really, I'm excited about what these anything but a phone devices can do. If you're interested in smartphone photography and videography content, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified when new content comes out. If you've got any questions or comments or things you wanna learn, drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can. For today's video, we're gonna talk about my favorite mobile travel lens ever. The moment, anamorphic. I've been wanting to record for a long time just because I genuinely love this lens so much that it's become my go-to lens whenever I'm out and about. So this is a really delayed review. I mean, the lens came out like a year plus ago, but I've been wanting to put this out there to really show you what you can get out of a small lens like this on your phone. The Moment Anamorphic lens is a premium built lens. The entire body is made of a light metal that you can really feel the quality in it. It doesn't feel like those plastic lenses that you would find for cheap on Amazon that would probably break within a few years. This lens feels like it's gonna last a really long time. If you've ever held a metal lens, like a premium metal lens, this is a manual 35 that I have. This lens is heavy, like it is made of metal. I think this is around eight ounces. It's a very well-built lens, but it feels solid and the construction feels really, really good. The Moment Anamorphic brings that type of premium feel to your mobile phone. And you continue this premium feel even into mounting the lens on your phone. On a traditional interchangeable lens camera system, you'll line up the circles and twist and lock them on. With the Moment Anamorphic, you'll line up the tick marks of the Moment Anamorphic lens with the tick marks on a Moment compatible case, twist, lock on, and you're good to go. There's no need to mess around with like a clip-on system or like screwing things in. It's actually one of the reasons I fell in love with the Moment system so quickly. It's so easy to lock on and get one lens, lock off, and switch on another lens that you have. This is the Moment Wide. We'll get back to this a little bit later on. 
After a year of being in a creative rut, I settled on taking the lens with me on a recent trip to Los Angeles. I wanted to see what I could do if I only had my phone and a single lens with me everywhere I went. I didn't really want to make it feel like a travel vlog. I wanted to go back to like a home video style footage. And the video you just saw a few minutes ago was that entire trip and all of that was shot with the Moment Anamorphic lens. Save for one or two shots that I shot with the wide just because I was testing some things out. The Moment Anamorphic quickly became my favorite lens just because of how much of the landscape I could squeeze into a shot. In this clip here, I was able to get the beach goers, the beach, a little bit of the city, and even some of the mountains in the back background all just kind of happening there and I didn't even have to move. It really makes life feel a little bit more grandiose. When I switched this over to the 2X telephoto lens, I was even able to isolate a character inside the scene and make him feel a little bit more desolate. It's a really cool effect that you start to notice more and more as you play around with the lens and see what different shots you can get. Now here's the thing that everyone talks about with anamorphic lenses that I've never really cared all that much for. It's light flares. Like the lens flares and light flares are cool. Like they look epic. They look really cool in a sci-fi movie. JJ Abrams does it well, if not sometimes too much. It takes some practice to really nail those lens flares down. I've noticed that I've almost only ever gotten it when the light is focusing directly at the lens. And even then, I've never been able to use it in a way that kind of tells the story or helps reinforce a story in a better way. It's definitely there and it's really cool, but it's not the primary reason I like this lens. For my LA video, the entire thing was shot on an iPhone 10 with the Moment camera app. All the footage was shot at 24 frames per second at 4K, or 60 frames a second at 4K. Now almost any filmmaker will tell you that if you're recording in 24 frames a second or 60 frames a second, your shutter rate should be double that. I completely ignored shutter rate. It's kind of a conversation for another time, but what I realized is that I wanted to be as minimal as possible on this shoot, so I only wanted to keep the lens on me. If I wanted to do the double shutter rate thing, I would have to have an ND filter on the Moment Anamorphic. And while the Moment team already has a solution for that, it just means carrying more. And this entire trip was just to focus on creating a home movie feel with my phone and a lens and nothing more. And I think it really worked out pretty well. I chose to use the log profile in the Moment app because I really wanted to be able to edit in post and grab as much detail and color in the image as possible. Once I had all the footage recorded, I would drop it into Final Cut Pro and then I would go ahead and color correct everything manually and then for the color grading, I would throw on a LUT that I used from Sorella Moore's Lightroom presets. Her presets aren't made for Final Cut Pro. I used some tools to convert her Lightroom preset to a LUT for Final Cut. It worked out well. If you want some more information on that, drop a comment below and I'll make another video on that. One of my favorite things I didn't expect to enjoy with this lens is taking photos with the Moment Anamorphic. It really forced me to rethink how I shot a lot of my photos because they would be so wide that I'd have to consider even more of what's in the shot. And once I got the image, I was really impressed with the quality of it, but just kind of the effect and feel it could give you. It definitely takes some practice. Try it out, like it's a phenomenal lens for video and photo, but photo becomes a really creative effort on your part to understand what you can do with it. One of the cons about this lens, a lot of your footage are going to have to de-squeeze. If you shoot in the Moment Anamorphic app and you use a regular color profile for video, you won't have to de-squeeze the footage. That'll automatically be de-squeezed for you. But the moment you start going to 60 frames a second or even throwing on the log profile, you will have to de-squeeze the footage in an app like Final Cut Pro. If that's something you wanna see, drop a comment below. I'll make a video on that as well. It's not too hard of a thing to do. One of the other downsides that's not really a downside with this lens, because it's such a wide shot that you get, it doesn't make sharing to Instagram incredibly easy. The golden ratio right now on Instagram is a four five crop. And because you're getting a really wide shot with the anamorphic, it means you're gonna have to basically cut stuff out to make it fit. Instagram isn't the end all be all of photo sharing, but it's something to keep in mind. And now that IGTV supports horizontal or landscape video, the anamorphic lens does look really cool on IGTV. So the most important question, is it worth $150? That's really for you to decide. I love this mobile travel lens and I don't use it like a gimmicky toy. I think of it as an additional thing in my filmmaker kit to get extra creative footage or different angles and perspectives that I can't with the built-in lens on my phone. I mean, this entire LA video I showed you was shot on my iPhone 10, a phone that came out a few years ago. 
This lens can work all the way back to an iPhone 6, works on the iPhone 11, and can possibly work on other future iPhones and really a ton of smartphones in the future. So it is $150 right now, but it is a lens that can last you a very long time. And because it's the holiday season, Moment's also running a ton of sales. If you're into it and you wanna get it, now's the time to take a look at it. I hope you enjoyed seeing what kind of photos and videos you can get out of the Moment Anamorphic lens. It's really become my favorite go-to lens for whenever I'm out and about. It's always gonna be in my pocket or in my bag for any of those shots that I need to get, but that I don't wanna get my camera out for. Photography on it is a whole new creative endeavor. Videos come out in a whole new perspective that really shows you your landscape in a new way. If you wanna see more of my photography and videography that I've been working through, follow me on Instagram at Greg Barbosa. If you're interested in buying the lens, I have a link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, so I'll make a little money off of each sale. It'll help me go ahead and make the next videos I have coming out. I've got a huge roster of videos planned around smartphone photography and videography. If that kind of content interests you, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell below. Give the video a like, it helps me tremendously. Be sure to comment any questions you have or just tell me how you feel about this video. If you hate it, go in the comments and let me know. I'd love to know how I can improve. All right, I'll see you in the next one.